Morning everyone, joined by David at Uroa. Going to take a look at our runners this coming Saturday at Caulfield. Uh, in the opening event for three year olds and up, fillies and mares. We've got a couple of runners. The first, Rocket Commander, first run for the stable. Yes, she's a uh, mare that's got group um, form. Um, she's been recently bought by Rob Crabtree at the um, sales in, in June, the mare sales. Um, look, I think she, whatever she does, she'll be improved by the run. Um, but she's a good class filly stepping out. And if there's a bit of rain about, it'll only help her chances. And we also have Sullivan Bay for Corey Parrish. In form there, she's been in work now for over a year. I think she's on her 15th run for the prep and uh, she's in good form. So um, <coughs> if she gets a little bit of peace in front, she's always hard to catch. Race two is the Vovis Golds Days, over 2,400 metres. The consistent Charlevoix for Craig Williams. Craig's back on him, ran his best race for Craig and uh, looks really well placed in uh, this Vovis Gold race. Race three is the Vovis Gold Ingot, over 1,400 metres for two-year-olds. We've got a couple of runners. The first is Mulk for Damien Oliver. Bit of time between runs, but he was very impressive um, uh, in breaking through the Sandow Maiden last start. Got an awkward gait. And the stable mate, Olympic Lad, ran very well. Looks like the 1,400 will really suit him. So I expect both of them to run very well. Race four, over the 1,100 metres. Again, we've got a couple of runners. The first is Happy Galaxy, Regan Bayless. Yeah, he was a big surprise winner at a big price. Um, about 1,600 days ago, he had good Caulfield form. So, fingers crossed for his uh, eight-year-old entire that might be hard to trust. And we've also got Wind Force drawing the car park in 16. He's drawing the car park, but racing very, very well, this horse. Um, in peak form, I'd be really confident if he just drew a little bit better, but it is only one bend at Caulfield. Race five over the 2,000 metres for three year olds. We've got a couple of runners. All out of love, Mark Zara. Yeah, just forget he went around. He, he would have been right in the finish the other day, so hopefully Mark can just give him a nice clear run for the last 600 metres. And the third emergency is Von Richter. Probably going to run on Friday. Um, we, she's unlikely to get a run as third emergency. So we might run a Friday and try and get a rating up. She won very well at uh, Geelong last time. Race six over the 1,200 metres for the three-year-old fillies. Abriola or Regan Bayless? Yeah, she, she's another one that really was a forget the run. Bo Nerton's got blocked very badly on her. And then she only got out when the race was over and it was too late. So her run was a lot better than it looked. Race seven, again for three-year-olds, but this time 1,400 metres. We've got Share the Faith, Corey Parrish. Yeah, he, he won at Geelong, uh, coming off the synthetic, but going right up in class. Um, got a bit of an awkward gait. Um, needs to probably improve on what he did last start to factor in the finish, I would say. Race 8 is the Group 3 Bletchingley Stakes over the 1,200. We've got a couple of runners. First up from a break, Keena Ray. Yeah, he's uh, coming back from a long spell. He'll probably be improved by the run, but he's at his best. He's very close to a Group 1 horse. Um, I would say whatever he does, he'll be improved on. And Tashby, drawn nicely in gate two. Yeah, his third run back, um, had a long break between runs going into his last start and he blew out. He'd be much fitter for the run. He's been set for the 1,400 metre um, races in the spring. Final winner on the card over the 1,700 metres. Last up winner, portion control for Corey Parrish. Yeah, I really like him. He's very good at his track and very good at his distance. He looks like he's held his form. And have you got a best bet for us, though? Uh, I, I like Charlevoix. Um, I, I think he's really trained on and portion control each way. Thanks, David.